flies off the line. And the Aprilia is an absolute missile. Alitalia have once again taken off. And Checker, another brilliant start for Brizio through. One of the Yamahas runs wide there. And it looks like Corsa is going to go around the outside again. Oh! oh! Corsa takes the lead and Checker's going to take advantage of it. Yeah, Checker's got a good drive up the inside there now. Checker should dive up the inside and he does. Great start. And look at this. Brizio's in the mix. Thank you very much. They have all just duffed up Max Biaggi. They have just ruffled his hair. Quite simply that. Max Biaggi's going to have to work for it now. And the smoke goes off. It's a green haze. But it's a blue and white BMW emerging from the smoke into Quercia. And Fabrizio has got the bit between and there's uh, is that Whoa! Oh, sitting up. Johnny Ray up the inside there. What a dramatic start to race two. And Fabrizio's not done either. Let's uh Wow, into Tremonto they go and onto the fastest part of this circuit. Corsa leads. Seven is Checker in second place with Biaggi recovering now. And that's Haslam there. Risk all to pass somebody. It's going to be Max Biaggi. If uh, if if he passes. Oh, Crutchlow. Yeah, Crutchlow. He's not and worried. And yeah, He's not worried about uh, losing the front end there where he lost it last time, is he? Crutchlow and Tozlin go through on Scasser and knock him out of the way. So it's. Uh, it's not an appreciation society for the Italian riders at the moment. No, but once again, Scasser, uh, he got that great qualifying, but once again in the race, he's going to... Haslam still hounding Biaggi at the moment. Quintoli is now six. Crutchlow and Tosin, the Yamahas moving through bit by bit. Maruki Haga in 10th position, so not a very good start from him. Normally when he starts in ninth, we expect to see him in third or first after <laughs> the first one or two laps. But it, but it, but it, but it, news flash, 136.5 and the fastest lap so far, guess who? Max Biaggi. Yeah, and that is a new lap record, by the way. And into the first corner. Biaggi looks up the inside, can't do anything about it. Haslam just waiting for his moment. Crutchlow, the fastest Fabrizio, man. Fabrizio, Fabrizio goes Go through. On. And he holds it too. Good, good move by Fabrizio there. So finally, the factory Ducatis have come to play. I was just about to tell you, Crutch loaded a 136.5, and he's now just put in the best lap of the day. Well, the new lap record. And the new lap record. So impressive to see Yamaha getting back to their testing times now, in terms of they were on the pace at the test. And that's why this is so close this weekend, is but everybody's tested here. Now I can see Cal. Now I can see Biaggi. <laughs> He's just got past Checker, or has he? No, yes, no, Whoa. yes. <laughs> Haslam moving around there. Yeah, and look how quickly Fabrizio's caught up yeah, with Haslam uh, up the inside. Nice move. But or not. Wide. Both of them. Whoa, now. and sitting up Crutchlow. Look at this. Now you can see him. Yep, there he is. Yeah, Crutchlow. I'm mean, going to tell you what, if there's one aggressive guy out there, it is Crutchlow, Cal Crutchlow. Yeah, and you know what? Haslam Crutchlow, it's going to be interesting. He actually looks aggressive sitting in his uh, chair. <laughs> On the track, Corsa still leading, five laps gone, and Fabrizio looking far better than he did before. He was monkering, monkeying around with that, that little toy before the race, we saw him, but uh, he's now very serious indeed about winning this race. Crutchlow and Haslam both catch up. Whoa! Fabrizio takes the lead! Yeah. Wow! Yeah, Fabrizio's fast there, isn't he? No kidding, that's twice he's done that. Yeah. Good passing opportunity right there. He is an amazing enigma, really, isn't he? When yeah. he's brilliant, he's brilliant. He is. This is a <laughs> over Corsa. Let's see what Corsa can do, though. Can he pull it back? Let's just remember. Biaggi again in the same spot. Into Tremonto, and Corsa can do nothing about it. That is uh, exactly where he got taken last time by Biaggi. But this is where Corsa's quick. So if he gets up the inside here quick, but he's yeah. not close enough, is he? Well, he's close, believe you me. He's not quick there. He's quick through this next section right here. But the problem is it's very, very difficult to pass. Right here is where Troy Corsa is quick. But I wouldn't say that Max Biaggi is exactly slow. Well, you've got two Italians on two Italian manufactured bikes. Biaggi straight Side past. by side down the straight in Italy. Oh, there's no room there, surely. And he does make it. How? I'll never know. And Biaggi hits the front again, but Fabrizio's not done yet as he sideswipes him. Does he? Yes! Right, Fabrizio's up the inside. That's yes! Incredible. Those two guys have got history too, so that was, tell you what. <laughs> They've got presence right now. <laughs> that move there was the move of an 18 Not presence of mine, mind you. As, uh, Max Biaggi. That Haslam move, gets it wrong? No, that, well, let's just talk about that move by Max Biaggi. That was a move of an 18 year old. It was awesome. Yeah, well, he's 39 yesterday. That's right. So he's thinking, he's thinking 18. 84. He is. 
Yeah, we haven't talked about Leon Haslam. He's uh, gone from uh, the 625 rear, and he's put in the, uh, the A, the soft. The Matt, same so he's on the same tire as Max. As Matt, but uh, he's got a lot of guys to get through, including Leon Haslam, who I think is not going to let anybody pass. Not performing perfectly right now is that Aprilia and Max Biaggi. On for the double. Every time he's won this year, he's won the double. He won in Portugal, he won in Monza, and won in the USA, and he's winning here again in Italy. to the start the start. I've got to defend is what the body language says. There goes Too late. Haslam. There goes Haslam. Haslam. Whoa. Well, he's got the whole 66 World Cup team on his helmet and they've just pushed him forward and into a better position and passed Fabrizio in turn one. He just did a Fabrizio to him. Yeah, but uh, to be honest, Haslam's bike's hardly faster in a straight line than the, than the Ducati. It should be a lot faster. Well, it's again bunched up this group. Yes. Haslam now goes in pursuit. Yeah, because Fabrizio last time that round did a 37.7 and Biaggi got quicker, 36.6. In up the inside, you can run a bit wide and uh, leave Fabrizio with nowhere to go. Exactly what he did. It's Crutchlow's turn now. <laughs> and trying to get on terms if he can with Biaggi. Biaggi's just taking chunks out of them. 3.4 seconds now they get. Yeah, 36.8 last time by Biaggi. He's the only one that's able to stay at that uh, lap time in the 36s. Everybody else now, because they're dicing together and fighting with each other, uh, high 37s. Look at them all over the place on the track. Completely different lines. Corsa trying that Biaggi line there, up the inside, perhaps closing that line down. BMW thought they might get their first win, given they had a pole position, but it's not looking likely at the moment anyway. Well, they're still pretty close. Maybe another podium. Cow, cow's fast through there. Yes! No, he's not. Yeah, but Come on, watch that very closely. Look at the he's gone. Yeah, two and a half seconds now on the uh, group behind. Yeah, he won the last four races in a row. And the next race meeting is where? Hmm. The Czech Republic, where Max Biaggi is a walking legend. And uh, he wins a lot there, doesn't he? <laughs> Actually, he took a pretty his first well, win there. He became a legend when he wheelied backwards over the line a few years ago in MotoGP. And didn't crash. And amazingly didn't crash. Amazingly. Back a couple of gears. Tip it in. To turn one. Keep the throttle on. You don't shut the throttle in that corner. You keep it open. Tip it in again. Short shift to third gear. This is third gear flat out through here. But you can't see the next corner. So it's quite uh, easy to uh, run off the track there. But uh, back in the first gear again. Short shift right there in the third. Try and keep third gear all the way around here and then get on the gas it's blind onto this back straight so you just got to wind it on without actually seeing the exit and then up to fifth gear again down this short back straight and hard onto brakes and the kercher back another few gears in the second gear and hard on the gas from the middle of the kercher good grip out of here on the exit you can pretty much hold it flat out there and get to see what happened but uh, definitely here in race two he's uh, in for a good shot at second place Haslam doing everything he can to hold on to that second Whoa. place, and Cal Crashlow almost became Cal Crashlow. Woo! That, uh, that was a front-end lose right there <laughs> in the worst place in the circuit. I'd love to see that again. How on earth he held on to that bike, I'll never know. He was using all his football skills there. Yeah, they're on the so that's good for Brock. If Michel Fabrizio wants to have a go, he's going to have to do it soon. He's looking very closely at the back end of Cal Crutchlow's bike as he comes alongside him now into Quercia, under braking, yes! Yes, 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 he's done it. Has to sit he's up, done Crutchlow it. has nowhere to go and that's really taking the steam out of Crutchlow's quest. Well, it's going to make Crutchlow angry. And it's going to make Corsa happy. Yeah. Corsa's right there. But uh, he can't make hay shine. Check well, this there. has been an absolute showcase performance by the Italian, the Roman Emperor, reigns in Rimini. What a victory. What a double. Mizzano magic for Max. Fantastic race. <laughs> Biaggi wins it. Crossing the line comes Haslam. Four seconds in the end. Fabrizio takes third. Important one for him.